Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm very happy to see you once again. Very, very glad to say hello in another week. Did you enjoy your weekend? What did you do on your weekend? Uh -huh, my dear students, I have here Emilia, Lisette, and Robert. Tell me about you and your weekend. What activities did you do? In my weekend, uh, I do homework, domestic homework. You did you did housework. That's the name housework. of that. Housework. It's all the activities housework. that you do at home. Housework. Housework. Yeah, it's the all. It's all the cleaning, mopping, washing, doing the dishes. Everything, everything that you do at home, it's housework. Okay. Good. So you did housework. That was a very entertaining weekend. Excellent. Thank you, Lisette. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Roberto, what did you do on your weekend? In my weekend, my weekend, I went to the beach with my family. That's great. Yes, and was Saturday. And uh -huh. Sunday, I went to the, the movie theater with my girlfriend. Hey, you, that's very nice. You went to the movie theater. That's very, very nice, right? That you had a date. You had a date on yes. Sunday. That's very nice. Very good. Let's see, Miss Emilia, what did you do on your weekend? Uh, in my weekend, I, I see TV. I watch, I watch TV, you say. I watch TV, uh, uh, Chernobyl, uh, how do you say series? Serious. Serious. Good. I, I watch the series, Chernobyl. Oh, you, you watch Chernobyl. I haven't seen that one, so I am, that's a, is it good or bad? Good, good, very good. Okay, it's one of my recommendations. Mr. Yeah. Jonathan, you have Christmas already. Hi. Hi, good night, Hello. teacher. Hello, good, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Hi, you have the Christmas already in the class. That's very beautiful. Yes, the fin de semana adornando. <laughs> so you were decorating. You were decorating the house. That's very good. I did the same. That's very awesome. Well, my dear students, welcome to uh, your class number 15. Today, we are going to work a little bit on the final details of the topics. Then we are going to go and finish the platform. Tomorrow, remember that we have presentations. Thank you for the ones who have been consulting about the presentations. I have checked a couple of, of presentations and that it's very good because you are you are taking this to the next level. That's very nice. Well, today I am going to share to share my screen for today. Let me see. Today is our class number 15. Imagine time really flies. I was just welcoming you a couple of days ago and now I am almost telling you goodbye. That is so sad, but I know you have advanced a lot. You have changed, you have improved, and that makes me feel very proud about the group that I am giving to the next teacher because you have done a very good job uh, on your classes. You have done a very good job working on every single thing on the platform and everything. So I am very glad of all the advancements that you have had. So today is our class number 15, right? Do you remember what was the final topic that we studied last week? 
we were studying a very specific topic. Do you remember the name? Quantifiers. Quantifiers, good. Can you give me an example of a sentence using a quantifier? Huh? Any? Many, some, uh -huh, but I needed one sentence. I am going to show them to you, so maybe it can help you a little bit to create the sentences. All people in El, in El Salvador like pupusas. All people in El Salvador like pupusas. That's very good. That's a very good example. Excellent. Another one. Give me one example with no one. Uh -huh. In Salvador, no one people hate the pupusas. <laughs> okay, good. It's a very good example. But if you say no one people, you're using double subject. In the case of no one, you are using the subject already. You say like no one is like ninguna persona. So it's like no one hates pupusas. And the sentence was very good. The example was good. Excellent. Can you give me, let me see, Mr. Mr. Jonathan Josue, can you give me an example using a lot of? Mr. Jonathan Josue, give me one example using a lot of. At one, at two, at three. Thank you very much. Maybe he's buying pupusas. A, a Eddie. Few people, <laughs> a uh -huh. few people. Uh, good evening, teacher. Sorry. Hello, good evening. A few people. A few, a few people eat pacaya. A few people eat pacaya, right? Because yeah, I, I personally don't like it. Right? And the and the isote the isote flower is the national flower. You don't have to eat it, right? So. Don't eat the national symbols. It's a, it's a problem there. So just remember that one. Remember that when you are using the quantifiers, you don't have to put the double subject, right? In the case of uh, no one, right? You have to keep that in mind that you don't use double subject, right? Exactly. We, we were using different uh, factors. <laughs> we were using different factors to compare the things from other countries with the things from El Salvador. For example, we were mentioning that many houses of El Salvador, almost all the houses have more than one TV, right? It, it is very, like very few houses have only one television, right? Maybe if it's a little apartment, yes, maybe you have only one TV, but in a house, it's very strange that you are going to find only one television, right? Maybe you have only one refrigerator, but you don't have only one TV, right? Or you don't, you don't have only one cell phone. In the houses, if you ask, for example, there in your house, how many cell phones do you have there at home? If you count, how many cell phones do you have in your house? Two. Two, right? Yours and your husband, maybe, right? But maybe so, in six, uh -huh. six. six cell phones. Imagine in my, uh -huh. in my case, six. Six cell so, phones. My God, we can go to La Cornucopia. <laughs> yeah. I have two. You have one two. personal, and, one and the other the is the is my the cell phone is my job. Yeah, that's a big responsibility as well. If you have yeah. the one for your house and the one for your job, and it's like, ah, oh, you have to be taking care of the two of them, and that's complicated. Well, if you think about how many, what, fans do you have in your house? Fans? 
fans. The, the, okay, many people say ventilator, and ventilator doesn't exist, right? It's a fan, mm. right? Un ventilador. <laughs> it's not a fan like, yeah, teacher Nati, woohoo. No, that's, that's another type of fan, right? But the fan, it's the one that you use to refresh your house. How many fans do you have at home? Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Four. Right? in every one. single place <laughs> only one yes okay. okay and a few houses in el salvador have air conditioning that looks like the, the top of the top right but only a few houses of el salvador have air conditioning so that's what we were talking about in the previous class so here we have a little reading about a changing family, right? I know that you have seen this on the platform and this one talks a little bit about the different responsibilities that families have when one of the parents work, right? We are going to go over the reading and then I am going to ask a couple of you to go and have a reading practice, right? Uh, from all the vocabulary that you have here, uh, is there anything that it's new for you? Any type of vocabulary that it's new for you? That you don't know the meaning? No, everything is clear. Oh, no, don't tell me clear like horchata, okay? Clear like water. In Spanish, eh, yo tuve una dificultad, pero era con, con spending. No me recordaba. Spending, pasar. And you can have spending in two ways, like spending money and spending time. If you spend money, it's gastar, right? And spending time, Es disfrutar o pasar tiempo con. So that's the, the uses of the two. Mm, about Josh? Uh -huh. uh, the last one word. Chores. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, chores. It's, you don't, okay, it's not the, the clothing, right? Like short, chores. Is it like chores? Como los chores que nos ponemos? No, it's, that's shorts, right? Shorts. But chores, in this case, is all the um, the things that you have to do in your house, right? All the responsibilities that you have in your house. For example, if you have a big family, you are going to divide the chores. One is going to wash the dishes, one is going to wash the clothes, the other one is going to clean the house, right? And they are different responsibilities that you can give to the members of your family. So those are chores. Que hacer es. It can be like in Spanish. If you say household chores, los que hacer es del hogar. Any other question? No? So here I am going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven volunteers. I need seven volunteers for the reading. And sure. I, yes? Uh, ¿Cómo sería la pronunciación de la imagen tres? Un, unfortunate. Ah, unfortunately. Un, unfortunately. Thank you. Unfortunately. Okay, so I am going to go over the reading and then I am going to need seven volunteers to practice the reading with me, okay? I am going to divide this into seven sections. For example, the first one, I have Roberto as the first volunteer. That's very good. I have the first part, it's going to be American families up to Morales family. That's going to be section one. Section two is going to be Judy and Steve until the final paragraph. 
Number three is going to be a small one about Steve. Number four is going to be Judy. Number five, Emily. Number six, Ben. And number seven, Josh. Okay, I am going to read everything for you to listen for the pronunciation. And then I am going to add the seven volunteers to uh, the reading. I have two volunteers. I need five more. Okay, four. I have four now. Excellent. I have six volunteers. Okay, if I have more, no problem. Thank you very much. Listen to me. I am going to read it first. And then I am going to have the seven volunteers reading. I have five already. Me faltan dos. I am missing two. And while I read, I can get the volunteers. It's me, teacher. Okay, Mr. Jonathan, you're number six. And Catherine. Right. Me, teacher. Okay, me teacher. Uh, all, all of you, not all of you are going to read. That's very good. Okay, I am going to read and then I am going to ask my volunteers to help me. Okay, it says American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens? when both parents work. Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her after-school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after-school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Okay, so that's the read. I am going to start with Mr. Roberto Calderón is going to read the first paragraph. Go ahead, Roberto. The first paragraph. American okay. families up to the Morales family. Okay. American families are changing. And an important change is that most married women, women. Now, work, women now work outside the home. What happened when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Very good. We say, what happens when both, both parents, um, right? Both ambos, right? What happens when both parents work, right? Very good. Thank you very much, Roberto. And we're going to continue with Heidi. Go ahead. From here to here. Go ahead. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again, is a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but, but there are also some problems. Okay, Judy likes her job, right? Her job, but uh, everything is going well, well, but there are also some problems. Thank you very much, Heidi. Let's go with Jonathan Josue. And Jonathan Josue is going to read this one. Okay. Steve. Okay. Uh, now that Judy is working, Steve has to help, help her more with the 
house housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Very good. So he has to help her more. He has to help her. To help her. It's one, one thing. To help her more with the housework. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Jonathan. Let's go with Carolina. Hello. Judy. You're going to read about Judy. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and by, by, by. Busy. She, busy. busy. She's busy. busy. She, she also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Together, very good, right? Saturdays, Saturdays. Saturday. She has to work on Saturdays, very good. Let's continue with, let's continue here with Emily. Wait. Emily is going to be uh, in charge of Jonathan, go ahead. Okay, Emily is having a great time. Is in is her after school program. When Judy comes to pick up her up, she doesn't want to leave. Okay, when Judy comes to pick her up, right? Pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave, right? Cuando viene a llevársela. Excellent, thank you very much, Mr. Jonathan. Catherine, please, the next one. Uh, unfortunately, 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 uh -huh. Ben's school doesn't have a after school programs. Right now, he's spending most afternoon in front of TV. Okay, it says unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately. Do you say un? You say unfortunately. Unfortunately. Very good, unfortunately. He doesn't have an after school program, right? An after school program. And uh, af afternoons. Afternoon. Af af oh, with the sound, afternoons. Afternoon. Okay, is that, you make the, the F sound, say afternoons. Okay, afternoon. There you go, you have the sound, fantastic. And the next one, Mr. Francisco, can you help me? Josh. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Okay, he's also doing, doing, right? He's also doing a few household chores. Household chores, that's the word, right? He's also doing a few household chores. Excellent. So you were having some difficulties in the platform answering these questions. And I have now, now that you, most of you have finished the platform, now you know the answers, right? What is the answer for the first one? Which children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily. 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 Emily and Josh. Emily and Josh. Why do you think they are benefiting? Emily uh -huh. comes to pick, come pick up her. Uh -huh. Come to pick up her. Okay, but they say like, who, which children are benefiting from Judy working, right? Quienes le están sacando provecho. And it says Emily and Josh, Josh. right? Emily and Josh, because he's enjoying his new freedom, right? He has, he has more time to do all the things that he wants. Which child, which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Ben. Ben, ben. why? Um, Why do you think that he is not benefiting? Because he don't have doesn't have an after school program. 
Exactly, right? He doesn't have an after school program and he's just watching TV in the afternoon. Which family member is enjoying freedom? Josh. Josh, yep. right. He's doing whatever he wants, right? Because no one is telling him anything. The next one. Which family members are doing more housework? ¿Quiénes están trabajando más en la casa? Uh, Steve, Steve and Josh. Josh. Steve, Josh. right? Because Steve. Steve, Steve has to help now with the housework, right? Maybe in the past it was only Judy, but now Steve is working and also Josh he is doing some household chores. And which family member feels too busy? Judy. Judy. Judy, right? Now Judy feels very busy because she has to work, she has to pick up the kids, she has to do many things. So she's doing a lot more things than in the past. Now she's working a lot. So that was the final activity of our section number five. And for sure, we are going to go and give a quick tour in our platform to see that it you have finished everything that it was supposed to be done, right? I'm going to move forward here. Okay, good. And I think that all of you finish all the things in the platform, yes? Yes, my dear students? Yes. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Now, many of you have already asked for the certificate. If you have difficulties to get the certificate, remember to uh, to report that immediately on the plat on the on the WhatsApp group. Okay, so I can forward it to the people in charge. So in teacher. section yes. Eh, yo no recibí por correo el certificado del módulo anterior. Okay. Y tampoco se puede generar. No, ok. Yo creo que igual como hice ahora con un caso de, de que me lo enviaron al, al grupo de WhatsApp, yo se los envío a los encargados para que ellos puedan revisarles cada caso específico. Ok, así que menciónenmelo siempre en el grupo y yo les doy el forward para los encargados para que eh, se enteren de su caso y le puedan, mm. le puedan colaborar ahí con eso. Okay, thank you. Men mention it, please, on the on the group. Yo so, también, okay. no me aparece para descargar. Okay, el de ahorita. Mm -hmm. Okay, sí, de ahorita. Eh, okay, good. but I forward your your case already. Yo creo que su caso fue el que acabo de pasar a, a, los, a los encargados. Entonces espero que me resuelvan pronto. Okay, this was the exercise that we were doing right now, right? And for sure. We were also working in quantifiers. This was the exercise that we did in class. Do you remember? We did it in class uh, last Thursday about the quantifiers, right? And also the family tree, right? We also did this one in class. And the final evaluations that you are supposed to finish, we have them right here, right? I'm going to go to the next section that it's the one that we need to complete right in the listening we had a, a conversation about um catering right we have different people uh, mentioning specific cases right in this conversation you were supposed to choose the correct answer did you have any difficulty to complete this one no no, no? Remember that if you have any exam under 100, it is important that you go in and finish it for you to have the 100% on everything, right? So in this one, what you were supposed to do is to complete the conversation with do, does, or would, right? And these were invitations. What type of invitation can you create in exercise one? That it says, would you, like, would you uh, like? Would you like to see a movie? What time does it start? Good, because you are inviting the person. And the next one, as the person accepted your invitation to go to the movies, it says, Do you like horror movies? Do you like horror movies? No, not really. 
Not, not really, right? In this one, it will be would because you are inviting. And in this one, it's do because you are getting more information about the person. What kind of music? Your friend Ricardo. Us. 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 Us, because you are talking about a person, right? And in this one, complete the following conversation using the present continuous form of the verb, right? In this one, you have to use the ing form, right? How is your sister these days study? How do you make a question in present continuous? She's study. studying. Is she studying? Recuerden que el auxiliar es importante en las oraciones con ING. Lo estábamos mencionando cuando lo vimos en clase. Is she studying these days? No, she isn't. She work. She's, she's working. working. She, she's working, right? She is working, working as a cashier. Is that David over there? Who? Wait for yeah. who is wait who is he waiting? Ah, who is he? Because we need the auxiliary, the subject, and the verb. Who is he waiting for? Oh. His girlfriend Maggie. She in She's on coming. the bus. She's she is coming, she is coming in, the bus. in on the bus. She's the coming bus. in on the bus. Good, so that was the exercise in this exam. In this one, we have multiple choice. I am going to ask, let me see, Angela, can you help me with the first one? Uh, yo, Jay does yoga every morning before breakfast. Yoga, right, he does yoga, very good. The next one is going to be for Heidi. How often do you? Play. Can you play swimming? No. No. Do. How, do you often, do? how often do you? Go. 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 Swimming, swimming, swimming in the summer is an activity, right? If you have ING, it's very common to have go, right? Go running, go playing, go swimming, go fishing, right? The ING is sports. Go with go. Number three. Catherine Reyes, I sometimes play basketball, basketball, basketball. baseball, right? Basketball, baseball. <laughs> baseball. I sometimes play baseball with my friends. Very good. So that was the multiple choice thing. And in this one, we had a reading. The reading was about Audrey Tattoo. Right, in order to two, we had a very similar reading about Christina Aguilera, do you remember? Yes. Right, this, the reading was very similar in this case. The reading about order to two, it's very similar to the one about Christina Aguilera. Because it describes in a timeline what she did, right? It describes in a timeline the activities that she had in her life. And in this one, at the end, you don't have the option of next because this is the final exercise. You only have the option of submit, right? A veces me preguntan muchos, teacher, pero ya no me da siguiente para terminar. Ya no le da siguiente porque aquí termina la plataforma, right? Here you have, the only option that you have is submit. Aquí termina el módulo, right? Let me see. Alfredo, can you help me to read first? Yeah. Okay, can you help me to read the first two paragraphs, Mr. Alfredo? Yes. This one. Go ahead. Uh, when Sir Andre. Audrey? Ah. ah. You're going to start from here. Okay. Audrey Tattoo. Okay. Andre Tattoo is a young French actress. She, she has fans around the world. Here's, here are some interesting things about Andrew's life and career. Okay, let's start here with 1978. Continue, Mr. Alfredo. Okay. Uh, 19... 1978. 19, 
Andrew is born in Bilman, France. Bilman, France. Very good. Guillermo, can you help me to read the next one? Um, 1980 and 1990. Audrey at in special liquidities in high school. After that, she goes to Agrin. So she wins the prize, best newcomer for her having on French TV, 1999. Okay, Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies in high school, right? After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize, best newcomer. Best newcomer is like, uh, uh, los que acaban de salir, los newcomers son los nuevitos. For her acting on the French TV. Thank you very much, Mr. Guillermo. Let's go with Jocelyn. 2000-2002. 2000, 2000 Audrey acts in many movies, including Boyos Boyelli. Boyos Boyelli. Uh -huh. Boyelli. 2000. Then she plays a young woman, woman called Amelie in a movie of the same name, Amelie 2001. Is in <laughs> Here you go, French. It's yes. in French, but the film is a big international hit. And Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called Good is Great, and not 2002. God is great. I'm not, right? God is great. Very good. Right? Amelie, right? She acted in a film, Amelie. That's very good. Thank you very much. Jocelyn, right? And let's see. The last one, 2003, is going to be in charge of Tatiana Martinez. Go ahead. The town film, three. Uh -huh. Audrey. Has a big year. She acts in the Spanish. The Spanish apartment. A Spanish apartment. And he loves me. He loves me not. She also acts in dirty, pretty things. This is the first time. She speaks English in a movie. She speaks English in a movie. Okay, thank you very much, Tatiana. You have Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me, he loves me not, right? Like when you get a flower and you start taking out the petals, right? He loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, ah, oh, he loves me not. Right. That it's the action, right? The name of the movie. And very pretty things, right? It's the first, the first time that she speaks English in a movie, right? It's not fierce, it's first. Good. So according to what your friends read on the paragraphs, I am going to go down here. In high school, Audrey Tattoo acted where? And we have here the options. In place, on television, or in movies? In place. In place. In place, like right? She acted in place in high school. Many Americans like the movie? <laughs> Amelie. Amelie, Amelie, right? We have Boju Vogel, oh, Amelie, and oh, God's oh, great, I am not. Number three, Audrey acts in three movies in? 2000. Three. In 2003, three. right? She acted in three specific movies. And in her movies, she usually speaks French. French, French, French right? French. Because it is not very common that she speaks English or Spanish in the movies, right? So this was basically it about the platform, right? This was basically it about the platform. And what I need you to do, please, if you haven't sent your progress on the platform, I need you to send me the chart, okay? 
para los que no me lo han enviado todavía, muchos, muchos de ustedes ya lo hicieron, eh, necesito que me envíen en el grupo el, eh, el gráfico, right? With all the progress. Teacher. Yes. In my case, eh, solo me hace falta terminar el los últimos cuatro exámenes. Okay, Hoy now you... Now you, have the, now you have the answers, don't worry. <laughs> ya se lleva hasta la respuesta de aquí. <laughs> yes, please. So finish them. And when you finish them, I need you please to send me the picture of the progress, right? That you have everything completed, right? Most of you should have 100%, right? Creo que hemos cubierto la mayoría. Bueno, en realidad hemos cubierto todos los ejercicios de la plataforma para que todos los puedan tener cubiertos al 100%. And if you still have any difficulty with any of the, of the paragraphs, then um, let me know and for sure I can help you. Let me see. I have here a final practice for the reading. I am going to wait for you to send me the progress in the platform. And I am going to ask Mr. Oscar Chacon to help me with the reading, right? I am going to assign you for you to read it, eh, I'm going to divide it in two, okay? Para no ser malvada, lo voy a dividir en dos. No. Okay. Okay, so Oscar is going to read up to here. Really great. And the next part is going to be on Angelica Lasso, okay? Angelica Lasso is going to read the second part. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Luke and I'm 14. I live in Brickton. I've got a brother, Jake, Jack, and a sister, Kim. Jack is the oldest, but I'm the tallest, tallest. My father is a mechanic. I think he's the best mechanic in the world. My mother works in a hospital. My family is really great. Thank you very much, continue. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it is necessary. They are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my adversaries. We talk about everything. There are no taboos among us. At weekends, we spend a lot of time together. Very good job. Very good job. Pronunciation things only parents, my parents and my advisors. That's very good. So it was a very good reading indeed, right? It's a very good way when you read because you respected the pronunciation stops, right? You respected the punctuation and that is very important, right? When you say, my name is Luke and I am 14, right? You have to stop because you have a period, right? I live in Brighton, you have a period. I've got a brother, Jack, and a sister, Kim. And here you have a period, right? Jack is the oldest, but I am the tallest, right? Period. En cada punto, right? En cada punto hacemos una pausa cuando vamos leyendo. ¿Para qué? Para que se nos dé la entonación y la pronunciación correcta. My father is a mechanic. You stop, right? I think he's the best mechanic in the world, right? You stop. My mother works in a hospital. Stop. My family is really great. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it is necessary. They are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my advisors. We talk about everything. There are no taboos among us. At weekends, we spent a lot of time together, right? So everybody go with me with the microphone off right now. Right now with the microphone off. And then we all are going to read at the same time. Okay, we're going to read together. Si alguien se nos pasa o se nos queda, volvemos a empezar todos. Así que todos tienen que ir ordenados. Al principio ahorita, microphones off. Right now, practice with me. My name is Luke and I am 14. My name is Luke. Right now with the microphone off. Ahorita solo le voy a ver su boquita moverse. My name is Luke and I am 14. I live in Brighton. I've got a brother, Jack, and a sister, Kim. Jack is the oldest, but I am the tallest. 
My father is a mechanic. I think he's the best mechanic in the world. My mother works in a hospital. My family is really great. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it is necessary. They are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my advisors. We talk about everything. There are no taboos among us. At weekends, we spend a lot of time together. Okay, very good. Now, open the microphones because we are going to read together. My name is Luke and I am 14. My name is Luke and I am 14. I live in Brighton. I live in Brighton. I've got a brother, Jack, and a sister, King. I've got a brother, Jack, and a sister, King. Jack is the oldest, but I am the tallest. Jack, Jack is the oldest. the tallest. My father is a mechanic. My father, My is, father a mechanic. is a mechanic. Father is a mechanic. I think he's the best mechanic in the world. I, I, I think he's the best, best mechanic, mechanic in the world. In the world. My mother works in a hospital. I, My, My mother, mother works, works, works in a hospital. He's the best mechanic in the world. My family is really great. My family is really great. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it is necessary. My parents are always there when it is necessary. They are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my advisors. They are, they are my, my best friends. When I have a problem, they are my advisors. We talk about everything. We, we talk, talk about, about, about everything. everything. There are no taboos among us. There, there are no taboos among, among us. us. Among us. us. At weekends, we spend a lot of time together. At weekends, we spend a lot of time together. Ok, ahora que ya aprendimos la pronunciación, las pausas, la pronunciación, la entonación correcta, we are going to read together at the same time. Ok, I am going to read and you have to read along with me. You are going to go at the same time. So we're going to start at the count of three. Ready? Ready? Ready. 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 I was born ready, you say. Okay, one, two, three. My name is Luke. My name is Luke. My name is Luke. I am 14. I am 14. I have got a brother. I have got a brother in a Princeton. And a sister. I have got a brother. 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 When I, when I said that we were going to read together, I imagined that I was going to listen. My name is Luke and I am 14. I live in Brighton. I've got a brother, Jack, and a sister <laughs> at the same time. But I was like, my name is Brighton, say the all the time. No, okay. Tomate <laughs> cebolla. Yeah. Please, let's organize this group. Okay, let's organize this group. <clears throat> we are going to read together at the count of three, okay? So, one, two, three. 
My mother works in a hospital. Right now, thank you very much. It was a lot better. It was More a lot slow. Better. Right? I was like, my name is Luke and I am four. <laughs> no. no, but it was better, right? <laughs> I live in Brighton. <laughs> no, right. Okay, no, but it was good. It was a lot better than the previous time, right? It was a lot better. And it was good because I didn't listen to, to uh, my my parents, I listened to parents in parents. all of you. That was very good. Mm. My parents, right? I have 16 days fighting with that. And that was very good for me not to listen to parents, right? My parents, right? It's very mm. understanding, necessary, and everything, right? That was very everything. good. My name. It was it was the first mm. thing that I was listening to it. My oh. name, right? And you mentioned it very good. Okay, so the last activity that I have for today is this one, right? I have here 15 questions and you are going to ask questions among yourselves. I am going to start asking the first question and I need complete answers, please. I need complete answers. I don't want, like, what's your name? Nothing. Uh, what is your name? Monterosa. No, my name is Natalie. My last name is Monterosa, right? Complete answers, right? I am going to start. And my first question is going to be for uh, Carolina Rivera. Okay, vayan pensando a quién le van a preguntar. Si ahora tienen listo. Carolina Rivera, what is your nationality? My I nationality is Salvadorian. Aha. Let's fix the fix the answer. ¿Cómo arreglaríamos la respuesta de Carolina? I come from El Salvador. Mm, what is your nationality? So you say, I, I am. I am. I am, I am, oh, I am nationality. I no, am you say, I am Salvadorian. Salvadorian. Okay. Salvadorian. Oh. Nothing, nothing happens here, okay? Um, I am going to ask one question to all of you, and then you are going to ask a question to someone else. I am going to start with Carolina Rivera. Carolina, what is your nationality? Um, nationality is Salvadorian. I am Salvadorian, right? That's the, I that's am, the complete I answer. am Salvadorian. Okay. <clears throat> Carolina Rivera, what is your nationality? I am Salvadorian. Very good. Excellent answer. Very good. Right? Aquí no pasó nada. Very good. <laughs> Carolina, the question. Who is it going to be the next one? Mm, Tell the, mm. the name of the person and the question. Jonathan. Jonathan Josué or Jonathan? Jonathan Josué. Okay, Jonathan Josué. Question. Ask him a question. Pregúntale algo de todo Jonathan, se pregunta. Jonathan, what are your hobbies? What are your hobbies, Jonathan? Uh, I don't know right now. I don't have hobbies, but maybe one hobby is, is go to the gym. Okay. So how can you fix the answer of Jonathan? What are your hobbies? I go to the gym. I go my to the hobbies gym. Are go to, uh, my uh -huh. hobbies are go to the gym. Okay, if you oh. have if you have only one, you yes. say I like going to the gym or I go to the gym. Okay, only one. Yeah. 
if you have more than one, you can say my hobbies are reading and listening. In that case, you can answer with my hobbies are. If not, what are your hobbies? You say like, I go to the gym. And that's the answer, okay? Good. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, what are your hobbies? I like going to the gym. I like going to the gym. Very good. Jonathan, ask a question to another person. Okay, let me see. Uh, Monica Escobar. Monica. Good. Question. What is your favorite animal? Monica, what is your favorite yeah. animal? My favorite animal is a turtle. Ah. What will be the only thing that we have to change? My favorite animal is. Uh -huh. I say my favorite. Don't say favorite, right? My favorite animal is the turtle. Good, very good. Monica, what is your favorite animal? Uh, my favorite animal is turtle. Very good, very good. Monica, question to another person. Mm, hey, do Vanessa. Hey, D. Uh, what is to a it perdón Okay, Heidi, I think the question is what is your I didn't listen to the final. Thing. How old are what you? Is your favorite um, food? Ah, what is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? My favorite food is pupusas. Ha, ah, but you say my favorite. My favorite is pupusa. Pupusas is plural. Pupusa. My favorite food are are, right? My favorite food are pupusas, right? Because if you are talking about chicken soup, for example, it's singular. But pupusas is, is, it's a plural word, right? You have to use R. Heidi, question to someone else. Uh, Jocelyn Cristina. Jocelyn, go ahead. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Favorite color. My favorite color is pink. My favorite color is pink. Very good. Jocelyn, question to someone else. Mario Barahona. Mario, uh huh. Um, what is your. Um, no, no, no. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet, Mario? Yes, I do. Okay, what type of pet do you have? A cat. I have a cat. I right. have a cat. Okay, Mario, question to someone else. Francisco Isaac. Francisco Isaac, go ahead. Question. Question, Mr. Francisco. Mm. What is your nationality? What is your nationality? I am Salvatorian. Very good, Francisco. Ask the next question to someone else. Um, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ay. Only Angela, one. Angela Xiomara. Angela, go ahead. What, what is your, uh, bah, 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 bah. what are your hobbies? What are your hobbies, Angela? My hobbies are draw, paint, and play video games. Okay, drawing, painting, and playing video games. Very good. Then, let me see. Vanessa Carranza, can you cook? Mm, I don't like it. 
but I have my songs. <laughs> they have to eat, they say. <laughs> right so you can cook a little bit good yeah. this was a very good time for you to review the ways to answer completely okay don't ask just a little bit of the question or a part of the question remember to ask complete in sentences and answer complete sentences well, my dear students, for tomorrow, remember that we have the presentation, right? It's a very short presentation about you, right? I was explaining you this in the previous class, but I present it here again for you to remember this, right? A very short presentation about you in third person, right? You are going to describe yourself, basically. I, this is Nati, she's a teacher, she does this and this, she wakes up early in the morning, all the activities that you do, but pretending that you are describing someone else, right? Uh, you are going to talk a little bit about your experience in the module, and if you had any challenge, also include it, okay? That it's going to be for tomorrow. I am forwarding you this uh, image again uh, to the group. I'm going to do it right now. All the presentation in English, please. Remember to keep your camera active while presenting and pay attention to others when they are presenting as well. So my dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow for our final class and for your final presentations, okay? Have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow for our next class. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Sorry, presentation. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me the question. La presentación puede ser así como las preguntas que estábamos haciendo ahora, ahorita. Um, no, it has to be about you. Oh, a little diferente. paragraph, a little paragraph about you. About look, this is Carolina. She is an accountant. She does oh. this and this, and so you have to present yourself, right? It's a presentation about you. Okay. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Have a beautiful Bye. night. Bye.